Okay, when things don't look good, don't worry, okay? <laughs> people are so worried. Last week, I had two people come to me and feel really stressed out about things not looking good and things falling apart or things not happening in the way that they wanted it to happen okay so this is what we're talking about today we're going to discuss what to do when things and just basically just a pep talk and like what to do when things are just wonky but knowing that it's not over yet is the key okay you just it's not over you you're not done with your creation if it's not fully what you want it's not finished and actually i'm gonna read this hello this is ellison corey and <laughs> this is radical decider and i'm gonna read this journal entry it's not a journal entry it's just a, like notes i made this morning about um about this okay so um when things are falling apart it's not over yet you decide the end of the story it is still the middle if things are wonky or don't look right stick to your end in your head don't be phased this was a note to myself and also like i just knew i was going to talk about this today because it's coming up a lot for people and just in general right now so don't be phased don't give up on yourself i had every possible situation with my sp which is super serious i literally did and i'll go into that a little bit in, in a minute um i've also been suicidal so many times just feeling lost or valueless or out of control. I used to be ashamed of feeling uh, so bad or ashamed of the things I had happening in my life. I also felt like I didn't have a purpose or things were just never gonna change. You know, I've had these like desperate feelings before and I'm just coming on here to say that one, you're not alone and people go through this. It's a normal, for me, I feel like it's a normal part of life. I don't know many people who have not gone way low to get way high right like there you will have low points if you're trying to improve your life and some people i think there are those people who never quite go very low i just think they're few and far between like it's just this is very very common so i just wanted to make sure that you know you're not alone and then also just for anyone who needs to hear this because i feel like i would have wanted to hear this from someone maybe like I don't know off and on like 10 15 years ago but I started doing this stuff probably like I mean I started when I was 12 with EFT right emotional freedom tapping because I had a counselor that that taught that like taught me how to do it but I kind of went in and out of depression from then still you know it wasn't something I just tackled and it was over you know what I mean so it was continual in my life like I just I would get seasonal depression. I had low self-concept at times as well because I, I just had some things in my childhood I needed to work through. But um, anyway, and then it says, until I changed my self-concept and started loving myself, that's when things changed. Those are the two, those are two different things, but both are important. So yeah, that's basically what I was, I was getting into as well right now. So yeah, so self-concept and self love are not the same but they're very 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 important both of them and the, that's pretty much how I got myself out of depression and and how I feel like now I'll never go back like I feel like I'm actually at a place where I I actually don't believe that I will ever get back to those very 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 low feelings again okay so so yeah so the one thing is just when your manifestation isn't here, knowing that it's on its way still and never giving up, especially if things are looking crazy. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is just feeling low in general and just not feeling like you have a purpose or whatever, you know, and just in either case, knowing that you never want to give up on yourself, even if things look overwhelming mentally or in the position you're in right now, like you just really need to keep going and do whatever you can in the moment right like don't try to tackle everything at once because you're never gonna it's gonna overwhelm you even more especially if you're in a state of overwhelm already so i would just you know if you can't tackle self-concept i would tackle just self-love just simple self-love 
And the difference between self-concept and self-love, which a lot of people are confused about, is self-concept is literally the way you think about yourself and the way you think about yourself in regards to every area of your life. And I've said this in a previous video, but it it is worth um, mentioning because people confuse it a lot. Okay, so it's literally... Um, you. <laughs> just hanging out um so it's literally how you perceive yourself in every which area of your life you know how and in all your relationships heck you have a self-concept of you as a as a sibling as you as a son or a daughter you as a you know um worker how you relate to people in the workplace you have a self-concept about literally every area of your life okay and then self-love is just generally just having care for yourself and whatever that looks like for you could be different for everyone you know i'm not someone who like goes spa days and gets nails done but i am someone who um you know one of the basic parts of self-love i believe for me is changing my thoughts into loving thoughts i mean that's like huge for self-love and people kind of leave that one out in not in law of assumption community obviously because it's like the main thing you know one of the main keys that and you know visualizing your dreams too but changing your thoughts is a huge one and so here we don't leave that out but a lot of people they don't include that when they're talking about self-love and what's more loving than uh than changing your negative thoughts about yourself and about your world and your environment and the people around you to positive ones what's more self-loving than that i cannot think of a more loving thought or like a more loving idea than changing your thoughts about your environment and about yourself so self-love is more of a general thing and i believe it it includes changing your thoughts about yourself and changing your thoughts into things that actually serve you and not you know starting to not entertain you know you can start small because self-love it's can it is a is all encompassing right there's so many things that in, that are included in self-love right but um one of the first things to start is just changing your thoughts into ones that support you you know and you want to self-love is all about supporting yourself so if you need to cry if you need a moment if you need some space if you need to you know it's about supporting yourself and listening to yourself and um you know getting enough rest and doing all those things and when your world is falling apart you really want to focus on self-love and you should already be focusing on self-concept right self-concept should already be something that's like a main key especially if you're into law of assumption and you are you know diligently working at creating your own life and changing things self-concept is really really important for that so um it's this is just meant to meant to be a little bit of a motivation i've been there i've been depressed so many times and just helpless and hopeless and feeling like i couldn't get out of it and it just literally you really need in those moments just self-love you don't almost like you can't even begin to change a self-concept sometimes or it's too much effort sometimes you just literally need to take a step back and just love yourself so to me there's a time and a place for both of those right when you're doing really well and you really want to work on yourself concept and creating the best life of your dreams then you want to incorporate self-concept and and obviously i believe you should always be doing self-concept but again in those moments where you just don't feel like being here like that's a big deal you know if you're suicidal or you're feeling really really low obviously this is not like i'm not a trained psychologist um even though i studied neuroscience in school and i've been studying you know Neville and all these people for so long Florence Scobble Shin you know Bob Proctor um all the guys Joe Dispenza for a really long time I still am not like a psychologist but I just think there's a time and a place for self-love and self-concept and if you can't even get out of bed and you're feeling super bad then I would just go with self-love and just start taking care of yourself in the most simple ways showering going for a walk telling yourself it's going to be okay you know you you know you can't jump from 
super depressed to like my life is perfect you know I wouldn't even I wouldn't even try that right I would just do the simple things like try to organize your space try to take a shower and try to eat a nutritious meal do some simple things and then once you start feeling better then you can tackle the bigger things like getting back on your self-concept getting back on your manifestation but honestly there's different levels of depression and we all we all go there sometimes and it doesn't have to be as bad as suicide right and i've only gotten to that low low point you know well more than i'd like to say but you know a handful of times but um but we're all kind of sometimes a little bit sad you know or a little bit unmotivated and feeling overwhelmed i know i get there so it's just a good idea to just do the simple things and then when you feel really good again or you're feeling like you're you've got your power back a little or you, and your energy back then you can get back on self-concept and all that stuff so that was more about i just talked about more about like the sadness and just generally feeling overwhelmed and bad and low and then the other side of it is when your manifestation is crumbling and in that in the advice I'd give to someone who those two people that contact me what I said to them was you certainly need to believe in the end you know and just stop focusing on the 3d and just seriously take a step back and just reset yourself you know if you've been concentrating on the 3d too much you really need to take a step back and stop doing that and just take care of yourself or just focus on self-concept okay to reset and then you can go back into your specifics about visualizing and affirming for your thing you know but if if the 3d is getting too much and you're getting overwhelmed and you're feeling like your circumstances are crazy that's when i always recommend taking a step back and taking care of yourself doing some self-love and doing some self-concept when you feel like it you know not pushing your self-concept just starting with self-love if you if you're really feeling low and then getting back on your self-concept and then naturally it'll be a snowball and you'll start feeling really good again and then you'll have faith in your manifestation again but it's really about not pushing yourself and taking a step back and really resetting okay so hopefully this helped if you're having low days I know I've been there. I've literally experienced every single catastrophe, you know, not real catastrophe, but like 3D catastrophe with my with my SP, the one that I was um that I was manifesting like 6 years ago. So that was unbelievably crazy. Anything you could imagine, distance, uh third party, uh this situation, that situation, like literally everything I've experienced it and it feels overwhelming and you just need to take a step back and reset yourself okay so hopefully this helped i hope this helps the people who have just feel overwhelmed or they're just you're just unmotivated or overwhelmed or whatever it is and like if you liked it subscribe if you love this stuff and transform your life neville etc and there's coaching details below and see you next time guys